Welcome back to Blockchain Pill. My name is Alex and we're back with another video. This is going to be a new video series where I'm going to use Caffeine AI to build an app in public just to show the world how easy it is to build using Caffeine and to also help those of you who have a Caffeine code and maybe are struggling or maybe there is stuff that you don't know how to do or how to get around, you know, various problems. Now, I'm no pro at building with Caffeine AI, so we may encounter issues here that I may not know how to resolve, but worry not, I'm sure that those of you who are kind enough and have encountered those problems in the past are gonna be helpful and, you know, uh, let me know if I'm going uh, wrong somewhere in the comments section below. So, let me explain to you what the app that I wanna build is and why I think, you know, this is gonna be an amazing app. For me, at the very least, it's gonna solve a problem that I've always had uh, since I've been a content creator. So the name of the app is going to be, and this is not set in stone, it's gonna be something like Creator Loop. It's basically a creator marketplace where content creators can create accounts, list the type of content that they can create. So it can be, you know, written content or video content, interview style, dedicated videos, or why not even a short segment like 30 seconds to one minute inside their video. And all of those options, they can then sell to brands that want to advertise whatever they want to advertise. And I think this is going to come very handy, especially in crypto, because oftentimes, you know, you receive messages from those brands telling you, hey, we, I want us to work together. What's your price? You have to talk to them. And it's, it's really a hassle. And personally, I would love to have an interface where people can just go and, you know, buy and, you know, pay the prices that I listed on the website and they can just, you know, book my time on the website without having to actually talk to them. And usually, you know, you're busy or you miss a message and then a brand messages you or a project messages you, don't respond, they think you're not serious, stuff like that. You know, I would much rather have it be automatic or as close to automatic as, as possible through an app. And this is why I'm building this. And this is gonna start inside the ICP ecosystem. I'm gonna hopefully get all the content creators that we have remaining inside the ICP ecosystem, get them here on the website, hopefully gonna help everybody get paid and produce content and promote those ICP projects that we have. Because this is a problem that we have inside the ICP ecosystem. There are a ton of projects, there is not a ton of marketing. Maybe this is missing. Maybe Creator Loop is going to kickstart a marketing renaissance inside the ICP ecosystem. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to use Caffeine AI, uh, the most amazing tool that we now have inside the ICP ecosystem. Those of us who have been fortunate enough to get a Caffeine AI code. And uh, this is a prompt that I have engineered and I have built, this is gonna be the first prompt. So let's have a look at it. Build a web application called Creator Loop. It's a content creator marketplace where brands and regular people can discover and directly purchase promotional content from creators. You wanna be as explicit as possible with Caffeine AI so that it really understands what you wanna build. In this app, there will be two type of users, creators who sign up, create a profile and can list the type of content they offer for sale. On the other hand, there will be brands or clients who browse creators filter by niche, view offerings and prices, and purchase content directly. All the messaging out the window. You just offer your services, get paid. Now, finally, as a content creator, you're gonna have a, a way better time. Each creator profile should have a profile photo, bio, and location, social links to your Twitter or X, Instagram, YouTube, or TikTok, tags for niche, in our case, it's mostly gonna be crypto, first of all, but why not this can be expanded not only to other niches, but also to other ecosystems as well. Also include a landing page with a clean CTA call to action for creators to join and list yourself and for brands to browse creators. Include a dashboard for each user type, creators manage listings and orders, brands manage purchases and messages. Cool. After the first uh, prompt, I'm going to show you how easy it is to add an internet identity login and to change the logo, which we'll have to upload to a different website, which was also built with Caffeine AI. So let's take the first prompt and uh, tell Caffeine AI to build our amazing content creator marketplace. This is uh, really the very first time that I'm building this, so we'll see what the limits of Caffeine AI are. 
And if this series is successful and you guys like it and you know, like the video, share the video, leave comments in the comment section below. If this series does well, this is going to be a weekly series and uh, hopefully uh, a lot of people are gonna watch it. So let's uh, drop the first prompt here and see what Caffeine AI is gonna do. It started creating the app, understanding the logic behind it, and then it's gonna turn this logic into code in just a matter of, it's gonna be a few minutes. I, usually it takes like three, four minutes to do it, and uh, that's gonna be pretty cool. While we wait for this, we're not gonna waste any more time, and I'm gonna show you how to upload photos or logos to your Caffeine AI app. It's a straightforward process, but you need this tool, which is called Uplink. The web URL is gonna be uplink.io, and here you log in with your internet identity and you just upload your photo or logo or whatever you wanna upload directly onto the ICP blockchain. And, uh, and there we go, we have uploaded this to the actual blockchain. Like this is a photo that exists on the blockchain. It's not on Amazon Web Services, it's not on Google Drive, it's not nowhere. This I created in just like 20 seconds with ChatGPT, so it's not the best, but it's not the worst either. It's a PNG. Uh, we can change it in the future if we want. This is just for demonstration purposes. When we're gonna make the site look more aesthetically pleasing, we're gonna probably change the logos. If any of you people watching this video is a designer and you wanna be part of this journey and you wanna create a cool logo for this, it can be made with AI, I don't mind that. You're welcome to you know, reach out to me on X, send me a DM, be like, Alex, I have a cool logo for you that I would love you to use for your app. And uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe your logo is gonna be used for this massive app that is going to be Creator Loop. Whatever suggestions you guys have, you can leave in the comments below. And I'm gonna read and respond to everything else because this is going to be like a group project that I'm doing publicly so that you guys can watch it and you know we can build this together. Sort of like a DAO, but it's not a DAO yet until we decentralize it, who knows. Another thing that we're gonna do, after we add the internet identity login, which is gonna be easy, and add a logo, which is also gonna be easy, we're gonna have a look at some of the core features that I want for this app. And the core features is, I want there to be an internal chat between brands and creators. I tried doing a chat feature in the past for my previous app, Caffeine Peel, I had a little bit of a hard time trying to do it. So we'll see how difficult this is going to be. If it doesn't work and it's uh, more difficult, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe, maybe there's something that I need to understand because I've seen people create those chats that update in real time between two people using Caffeine AI. So maybe I will have to reach out to somebody who knows how to actually do it. So we'll see how that goes. And then we'll have to add a purchase flow where brands choose the content type, pay, and initiate a deal. So as I mentioned, each creator, for example, me, I can produce a podcast with your brand or project. I can add like a 30 second segment during one of my videos. Let's say like this video is sponsored by KongSwap, for example, we say that. And it's gonna be like, if you wanna trade tokens on KongSwap, then you know go to kongswap.io and trade tokens. This is an example. And the third type of content that I can produce is a dedicated video. Let's say you have a cool platform. For example, let's say you're building Bob and nobody knows of, about Bob.fun. Bob, the leader of Bob, who's anonymous, could have you know, booked me and be like, Alex, listen, I have this cool platform where people can mine the Bob tokens by burning ICP. And I would have been like, damn, that's a very interesting product. Let's check it out and let's make a dedicated video to explain people what Bob.fun is. Of course, all of us know Bob that fun now, it's, it's just massive. And finally, this is gonna be part of making the product look better, add a logo, which we already started. We have the logo uploaded here to Uplink and we just need to copy the logo and do that. And I think we'll actually add all of those things in a single prompt because uh, it's gonna have to rewrite the entire code. And if it has to rewrite the entire thing, then uh, it's gonna take a while, so I'd rather do less prompts than more. There you go, the, the app is now live. It has been deployed in a temporary canister and, and now it lives on the internet computer blockchain. Let's see how the website looks. And uh, there you go.
connect creators with brands and clients, the ultimate marketplace where content creators showcase their talent and brands discover the perfect partners for their next campaign. Everything you need in one platform, streamlined tools for creators and brands to connect, collaborate, and create amazing content. So join and list yourself. Let's see how this works. Oh, so it actually integrated internet identity by itself whenever you uh, create an account. So I didn't even have to ask it to do, to do that, which is cool. My name is going to be Alex BCP from Blockchain Pill. And let's see how this goes. Cool. So it created the landing page. I don't see an option to actually create our... Uh, you know, to add our bio and to do this and that and everything else. Let me make sure that I ask, actually asked it to do that. I have, okay. So we'll have to ask it again to add this functionality. So let's see what it says here. Your creator loop app is set up with creator and brand dashboards, profile management, discovery, reviews, and a landing page as described. Would you like to add Stripe payments so brands can purchase content directly through the platform? We're not gonna go with Stripe yet. I just wanna make sure that we have everything that we need here. Let me see how I can actually customize my profile as a content creator. And uh, it doesn't seem so to work. Cool. So the next prompt is going to be add an option for creators. Add an option for creators to be able to modify their profile photo, bio, location. So you have to play, you have to play a little bit with Caffeine AI, right? You cannot say build GTA 6 and it's gonna build you GTA 6. That's not how it works. Social links, tags for niche and ratings and reviews from their past buyers. Now let's see what this does. And this is gonna rewrite the app and add what we asked it to add. Usually you wanna give, you know, shorter prompt because if you ask it to do like a hundred things at the same time, you know, it's gonna miss something. We're supposed to build it one step at a time. Cool, so just like that, you know, building your code and deploying on the network, we're gonna receive a link to actually access the app just very shortly. And there we go. Let's check it out. So I don't see the button to actually change any of the things here. Let me be more specific and tell it allow creators to click on their profile and then make those changes. Make the text on the top right corner clickable, taking you to the edit your profile page. On my page, that text is welcome Alex BCP. Okay, just to make sure, I want this text to be clickable and to take you to your, to your profile where you can modify it. And maybe in the future we can add like a drop down menu here where you can go to like earnings, history and stuff like that. But right now we don't have a button that takes us to your profile where you can actually change stuff. And hopefully it's gonna work for everybody else with different accounts. People are gonna have like welcome and it's gonna be like somebody else. It's gonna be welcome Fabio, welcome Jerry Banfield, welcome Bobby O, stuff like that. It's not gonna be Welcome Alex BCP for everybody. But if it is, it's not gonna matter because we will be able to change it just with a few prompts. Cool, so let's check it out once more. This time it should actually work. There you go, this link is now clickable. I wonder if it's gonna take us to the page where we can actually update our profile. So it took us to a page where we can choose the profile type, although we, we did register as a creator and there we go. So. Clicking or on your name in the upper right corner is gonna take you to this page where you can have a bio. Hello guys, I create videos about ICP and I think that's enough for this time. And we can save the changes here. And there we go. I am now in the Discover Creators page here without a photo because I didn't upload a photo and people can cannot click to view my profile, which is okay. We're gonna add that in the future. But I think for this video, this is enough. The last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna change the name here, the logo. We're gonna change it with the one that we uploaded to Uplink, which I think is cool. This is only for demonstration purposes, is we're probably gonna have a way more beautiful logo in the future. So the last thing we're gonna do in this video is change the creator loop text in the header with this logo that we uploaded to Uplink. And uh, let's send that. We're gonna have a look at you know how it looks. And I think this is going to be enough for this video. Let's make a list of the things that we need to make for the next video. We're gonna have to make this button clickable. We're gonna have to uh, remove those 
artifacts here, those shouldn't remain when you start typing. We're gonna have to add the products that each influencer sells. So there is a lot to do, but listen, we're beginning to build a creator marketplace and it's been two or three prompts, right? Like how many months would it take to actually do this and build it by yourself? And if you're not a developer, you need to hire people, pay them. You're doing it here in a matter of minutes or hours, or at most, I would guess that the final product is gonna be ready maybe by episode 10 and we're gonna have the first money roll in and we're gonna have the first content creators being paid out. We'll need to figure out how to add like a wallet interface where people can send or receive tokens inside the app. But, but I think that's not gonna be very difficult because you logged in with your internet identity, meaning that you actually have a wallet already connected here. So we just need to build the interface. And yeah, I think, listen, the future is lo looking pretty bright. I'm, I'm, I'm getting pretty bullish on uh, Creator Loop. I think it's gonna kickstart the creator economy on the internet computer protocol, and then we'll spread it towards like the, the rest of the crypto world and why not even in web two. Cool, so let's see if we manage to change the logo. Uh, by the looks of it, it looks terrible. Let's see. Okay. So it did change the logo, but uh, I mean, it made it, okay, okay, I see, I understand. So we need to leave the text as it was, and then only have the image as, as the logo. It's, I thought it's gonna be like the image and the text you know, next to it, but uh, this is my bad. This is not Caffeine AI's fault. Cool. So this is enough for this video. In the next video, we will fix the logo, make sure that we have a good looking logo. Gonna fix it and uh, get the text from Caffeine back. But just look at how precise you can actually code with caffeine, I, I, I told it, remove the text in the header and change it with the logo, and it did exactly that. I don't need to know what line of code, you know, the logo or the header text was. I just said it. I typed it as I thought it, and caffeine, I did it. And it did exactly what I wanted. It looks bad because it was my fault, but this is incredible. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video where we continue building this app using caffeine. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.